Real estate myths your clients probably believe in Montana. There are a lot of myths that can foster unrealistic expectations. Being familiar with these misconceptions allows you to set the record straight and prevent problems in the future. Buyers pay the commission. The agent's commission is often negotiated as a percentage of the sales price with the amount coming out of the seller's sale proceeds. Buyers aren't saving money by not hiring an agent. The help and advice they get will likely cost them money. Contract provisions are set in stone. Most contract provisions are negotiable, including the commission. The purchase price is the only cost. The cost of homeownership is more than just the sales price. Buyers and sellers should be prepared for closing costs and other expenses of buying and selling a house. For the buyer, there will also be new furnishings, homeowner association fees, insurance, taxes, improvements, and repairs. Home inspections are unnecessary. Forgoing the home inspection could cost buyers lots of money later. You wouldn't want to buy a $300,000 house and later discover a huge defect that will cost thousands of dollars to fix. A home inspection contingency makes a sales contract conditional upon the outcome of the home inspection report. Buy a house just as an investment. Buyers should not get too enamored with the idea of a house as an investment. Housing prices have only grown 35% over the last 125 years, accounting for inflation. And in the last 60 years, housing prices have kept pace with inflation. Buying real estate is not a guaranteed moneymaker. List high and negotiate down. Some sellers think it's smart to set the listing price at the higher end to spark a bidding war and later negotiate down to their real asking price if needed. Overpricing is a major reason houses sit on the market with few offers. Buyers may not even go look at the house at all. Smart, competitive pricing from the beginning should attract the appropriate amount of interest for the market. Low ball offers are smart negotiating. When they found the right house, buyers should make their best offer first and fast. Analyze the local market and if the house is not overpriced, many agents recommend a listing price or more offer, especially in a seller's market. More months on the market and price reductions mean desperation. There are many other possible factors that could be involved. The market, asking price, condition problems, layout issues, location, and a bad agent could all contribute. If a seller has had to reduce the price to bring it more in line with the market, he or she may be less amenable to negotiating down further. Real estate agents are all the same. Consumers and clients often assume all agents are the same. They appear to do the same things in a process with basically the same steps for each transaction. Some agents devote a lot of time, effort, thought, and resources, while others just do the bare minimum and hope for a quick sale and a big commission check. Customers, clients, and agents shouldn't assume all agents are ethical. 360training.com, the leading provider of real estate education, offers online real estate courses, which easily fit into your busy schedule. Enroll today!